Joe Biden declares Easter as a transgender day of visibility. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Culture Confederacy here. It's Sunday night. Happy Easter. So old King Joe, President Joe Biden, who thinks he's king, who, by the way, has no constitutional authority to declare any national holiday that goes through Congress, on Friday puts out this proclamation. Now, have you seen these photos, by the way? Oh, and thank you for subscribing, watching, being a part of this thing called the Culture Confederacy. As you know, I have a lot of fun doing this channel. It's great to be back. I said my last video, I was out with this sinus cold, but I'm feeling a lot better now. I feel like I could take on the world. Take on the Easter Bunny. But have you seen these photos out there? They're creepy. So, you've got a couple of photos circulating where you have the Easter Bunny, like, peering out behind Joe Biden's shoulder. There's a picture with Jill and Joe Biden. And there's the Easter Bunny in the left of the photo. And he's got the psycho bunny eyes, the big fluffy bunny ears, larger than life. And there's this photo here of Breitbart. Now, I'm going to read you what's in this proclamation, which old King Joe made it sound like the Emancipation Proclamation for Transgenders. I kid you not. But there's this photo of Breitbart. And you see Joe Biden, you see the Easter Bunny with the psycho bunny eyes behind him and the fluffy bunny ears, and there's a transgender flag behind them. Joe Biden looks like he just ate a dew sandwich, doggy dew sandwich. So on Friday, Good Friday, this is what Joe Biden did. Good old King Joe comes out with this proclamation. Now Easter, as you know, has been celebrated by Christians across the globe for thousands of years. But Joe Biden decided that he is the one who's going to make this a transgender day of visibility because he said so. Again, no constitutional authority to do so. But this is what he said in his proclamation. Quote, we honor the extraordinary courage and contributions of transgender Americans and reaffirm our nation's commitment to forming a more perfect union where all people are created equal and treated equally throughout their lives. Well, President Biden, we were not founded as a nation. We were founded as a federal republic, a constitutional federal republic, a confederation of states. And the whole idea of a more perfect union had nothing to do with racial or social or economic equality. It was all about political equality because the colonists were trying to preserve their political rights, their political standing as British citizens, which they felt these rights were being violated by the king, rights guaranteed under what they called the ancient constitution. That's why we seceded from Great Britain. This is history 101. If Biden doesn't know this, he shouldn't be president. But no, we are not a nation. We aren't a country. We are a federal republic. A more perfect union meant a government that was more representative of the people. And it was the people of the states, the states who created the central authority to work on behalf of the states as their agent. Now, this is where he makes his proclamation as old King Joe. Now, therefore, I, Joseph R. Biden Jr., President of the United States of America, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution and laws of the United States, Again, you have no constitutional authority to declare a particular day a holiday, whatever day you want to call it. Do hereby proclaim March 31st, 2024, a transgender day of visibility. I call upon all Americans to join us in lifting up their lives and voices of transgender people throughout our nation and to work toward eliminating violence and discrimination based on gender identity. Blah, blah, blah. Starting to sound like Ted Kennedy. So as you can imagine, there's a big uproar about this on X. He goes on to say here, In witness whereof I have hereunto set my hand to this 29th day of March and the year of our Lord 2024 and of the independence of the United States of America, the 248th. Huh? His grammar's way off here. And he signs it Joseph R. Biden Jr. And he goes on to say in the proclamation, I am proud that my administration has stood for justice from the start, working to ensure that the LGBTQI plus 
into the third degree of in of peace or whatever it is community can live openly in safety with dignity and respect. I am proud to have appointed transgender leaders to my administration. Well, go you. And have ended the ban on transgender Americans serving openly in our military. I am proud to have signed historic executive orders that strengthen civil rights protections in housing, employment, health care, education, the justice system, and more. Well, look at you. Aren't you the saint of all saints? St. Joe Biden. I am proud to have signed the Respect for Marriage Act into law, ensuring that every American can marry the person they love. And on and on it goes. My administration also providing, is providing, pardon me, dedicated emergency mental health support through our nation, nationwide suicide and Christ, uh, crisis lifeline. Any LGBTQI plus to the third degree of N, young person in need can call 988 and press 3 to speak with a counselor trained to support them. Yeah, because what they're finding out is all these transgender uh, surgeries aren't working. It's not working. See, they had this idea, this utopian idea that they were going to go and get this transgender surgery. Everything was uh, going to be okay. And they're having 10 times more problems than when they started out with. When they should have just been happy to be who they were. Now, if you want to put on a dress and you want to call yourself this out of the other, then you go for it, baby. You go for it. But don't come crying to me after having all these surgeries and everything else and declare a transgender day of visibility when it doesn't work out for you. Live and let love. I'm all for live and let love, okay? But you do not call Easter, which has been celebrated by Christians across the globe for 2,000 years now, celebrating the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, you do not declare that as President of the United States as a transgender day of visibility when you have no constitutional authority to do so. Now, if you want to rally around uh, Congress to pass a law to declare a particular day other than Easter, you know, it would be like uh, declaring Christmas National Transgender Day. Or National Pick Your Nose Day. Whatever day you want to call it. Like having a wedding on Christmas. You know those type of people? They like to have their weddings on a holiday. What is wrong with you people? So this was his proclamation. And it's all pandering. This is all pandering to his base. This has got nothing to do with transgender rights or equality. It's all about pandering to his base for 2024. So I thought I'd share this with you. Joe Biden, old King Joe, in his infinite wisdom, doesn't know where he is half the time, appearing in these photos with Psycho Bunny and the Psycho Eyes and the Psycho Bunny Years and the transgender flag, is going to do a full Emancipation Proclamation on Good Friday to declare Easter as a transgender day of visibility. Praise you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Say amen. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. You can follow me at Instagram, hashtag Jason Composes, because I write music in my spare time. Or you can follow me at X, Culture Confederacy, at Culture Confed 1 on X. This is the Culture Confederacy saying peace out. Stay safe, everybody. God bless this thing called the United States. And you know how we do it here. This is where the past crashes with the present. I'll catch you next time. And you all have a great Easter. Take care.